My name is Mike. This is my wife, Lisa, and we live in Gatineau, in Quebec. Between us, we have six kids, and we work in a heavy, volatile workplace where there's you're advocating uh, social justice, you're advocating, you're educating. And I guess throughout the years, um, it, it kind of took its toll, and then there was one episode that um, I guess was the drop in the bucket for, for me. In 2011, I was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. A lot of people, it is uh, one event, one, one traumatic event. There are others that it's an accumulation of events here, events there, and then, then you get to one event that just your body and your mind say, I can't do it anymore. You don't know what, it, what triggers. Some it smells, some it can be a voice, some it sounds, um, some it's nightmares. Lisa was unable by herself to walk past the end of the driveway. She couldn't walk around the block. He had to literally, you know, say, Lisa, I'm going here. Are you going to be okay? Yeah, he'd walk out the door. I'm locking the doors. I'm turning the lights off. Nobody knows I'm here. I had mirrors in the backyard so that when I was outside, I could just turn my head and I could see everywhere. With PTSDs, it never goes away. It not only affects the person that has PTSD, but the family, their spouses. As supportive as I could be, uh, you get frustrated and great feelings of despair because uh, you have a loved one who's going through this trauma. We had uh, um, read and heard about service dogs, one heard about the application, Eventually, we discovered uh, four pots in Kingston. We train service dogs for people with autism and mental health issues, PTSD, uh, seizures, and mobility. We generally come to the mall once a week to teach particularly the young pups all about stairs and, and elevators and crowds. It takes us about two years to fully train a service dog. We went down and we, we met with uh, Elizabeth and uh, Samantha and they had, you know, they had the puppies there. And I visited with them, but I kept coming back to Ernest. And I couldn't, I didn't know why. For an hour and a half, I was at peace. From the day that he came into this household in August, an immediate change. There was, I was, I was able to be in the backyard. The doors weren't locked, the gates weren't locked. There was laughter in the house. In Lisa's case, we have uh, trained Ernest for PTSD. So his job is to calm her down in situations that are usually a trigger for her. Someone like Lisa needs extra space around her, so Ernest is taught to block, which kind of gives her a three-foot space back to front, um, which makes her feel more secure. If I dissociate where I completely freeze, I can't move, I, I can see and I can hear, but I am literally held prisoner in my body. He will lick my hands, he'll pull me, he'll rock me so that, that that grounding motion is there. Raising service dogs from eight weeks of age and up is, is a big dedication in both energy and time as well as finances. Exclusively feeding Royal Canin to our service dogs in training enables us to have dogs that are healthy and can live a nice long life and help the individual they're placed with longer. There's probably not much that's more rewarding than that. When you see that the difference that these dogs make in the, these people's lives, they have their lives back. Through that whole process of PTSD, I could see losing peace of Lisa. It's really tough to articulate the difference Ernest makes. Um, he gave me my wife back. Ernest, in one month in his household, brought our whole community back. He, he gave us back our friends, he gave us back our laughter, our relationship. He saved my life. 